So guys, welcome to the ultimate tutorial on trading view for beginners. So this is a series of videos that we are making on trading view so that we can explain each and every functionality of trading view using real life examples and case studies. So we started with the basics of trading view. Then we went to the charting functionalities and now we are talking about alerting. Now, since alerting is a little advanced topic, so what we did was we broke it down into two videos. The first video covered the basics of alerting. And this particular video will cover the advanced alerting functionalities of trading view. And of course the subsequent videos will cover topics such as backtesting and strategy creation. So if you are here for the first time, you're listening to this channel for the first time, I will strongly recommend you first of all, to go and subscribe to the channel because it's an awesome channel. But more importantly, what I would recommend you is to go to the playlist and binge watch this playlist right here, because it will cover each and every topic of trading view in the right order. So in the last video, we discussed that there are four types of alerts that you can create in trading view, price based alerts, drawing alerts, indicator alerts, and strategy alerts. And in the last video, we covered price alerts, which are basically the foundation of understanding how alerts work in trading view. Now we will cover the advanced types of alerts that are drawing alerts, indicator alerts, and strategy alerts. So all these three topics will be covered in this video. So without any further ado, let's start with the drawing alerts. So the concept behind the drawing alerts is very simple. As the name itself indicates that if you draw something, if you draw a trend line or a support or a resistance or any other pattern, you can create alerts based on that. So for example, right here, we are looking at the daily chart of Reliance, right? So let's say, for example, we say that, okay, Reliance, as we can see on this chart is finding support at 1900 rupees, right? So here we can see that, okay, every time Reliance has uh, come down to 1900, there has been some buying. So if Reliance comes down to this support area, then I want to get alerted because I might initiate a long position or I might even buy Reliance for my long term investment, right? So this is my support right here. So I do this line. So what I can do is I can do a right click and I can add an alert on the horizontal line, right? So here, when I add this, here it tells me that reliance crossing the, in this case, what I can do is I can make it crossing down so that when the price goes below 1900, that's when I get alerted. And uh, depending on whether I just want the alert to be triggered once or once per bar, whatever is the case I can set based on that. So by the way, we have discussed all these options in the previous video. So if you have not watched that video, definitely go ahead and watch that as well, right? So this was a very simple case where you basically spotted a support and then you created an alert for that support. Now it need not always be a horizontal line, right? So for example, I'm looking at the chart of Hindustan Unilever, again, a daily chart. And what I can easily spot here is a head and shoulder pattern, right? So what I can see here is that this right here is the left shoulder. This is the head and this is the uh, right shoulder, right? So a very beautiful head and shoulder pattern being formed here. And this happens to be the neckline. So what I can do is I can draw a trend line on trading view and I can tell trading view that whenever this neckline is broken on the downside, I would like to know because that is a bearish sign and I might create short positions on Hindustan Unilever. So for that, what I will have to do is that I will go to the trend line and using the trend line, I will basically draw a trend line right here, right? A beautiful trend line, by the way, you can see this, how beautifully it worked out because after the neckline was broken, now this neckline is again acting as a resistance. So that is the power of technical analysis. So for creating the alert, what basically I have to do is I have to do a right click on this trend line, the neckline and add an alert. And I can say that whenever Hindustan Unilever is crossing down this trend line, I want to get alerted and I can define the rest of the options based on my. So this is another way in which you can create alerts. And by the way, you can also see a little alarm clock here, which is telling you that there is an alert defined on this trend line. Now let me give you another example from today's trade that I took. And this is the case of bank Nifty, right? So in bank Nifty, for example, I was looking at the way bank Nifty was moving and basically what it was creating is some sort of a symmetrical triangle, right? So I uh, saw that uh, the way bank Nifty was moving, the prices were consolidating. They were making lower highs, but at the same time they were making lower lows. So this is what is called in technical analysis as a symmetrical triangle and the breaking of this trend line signaled a short trade. So what I can do is I can draw this trend line and I, and I can basically do a right click and I can create an alert that all right, if bank Nifty crosses below this trend line, then I want to get alerted, right? So these kind of alerts are very useful for identifying an opportunity in time and getting in and getting out based on the price movements when they are happening, not after the fact. 
So uh, I took a short trade today on Bank Nifty, and uh, I mean I did not stay in the trade too long. It eventually came down to 145, but I still made some money. So this is the power of alerts that you let the setups come to you, right? So when the setups are coming to you, you don't have to chase the price. You don't have to force your view on the market. You let the market let you know that it is time to take a trade. Now let's go back to the daily time frame and see a different type of a drawing based on which you can create an alert. So what we have right here is the daily chart of Ultratech Cement and you can see that Ultratech Cement is a very strong uptrend. So I can see that Ultratech Cement is moving in a channel. So what I can do is I can go to the parallel channel and I can basically plot this channel like this, right? A nice beautiful channel. So what I can do is that I can create alerts in such a way that whenever uh, Ultratech Cement comes to the lower end of the range, I get alerted so that I can look for potential long opportunities. And whenever it goes and touches the higher end of the range, I want to get alerted so that I can exit the trade, right? So this channel trading is a very common way of trading in strongly uptrending stocks. So this can be a beautiful setup for taking a long trade if you are alerted in time. So in this particular case, as you can see that this is already highlighted and you see this little alarm uh, right here. So when you click on this, it will automatically tell you that this is a type of alert that you want to create. So it has already identified a parallel channel for you because that's when you are creating this alert for. So what I can do here is that I can define what kind of alert do I want to see. I want to see the alert when the prices are entering into the channel, exiting the channel inside or outside. So in this case, let's say I go for exiting the channel so that at least I can know when the prices are going even a little bit outside this channel, I will get alerted. So again, that is a very nice way of spotting opportunities just in time. So these were just few examples, guys. What you can do is that you can explore all these different types of drawing. And for most of the drawings, you can create alerts directly on them. So they are very powerful, very effective way of identifying the patterns on the charts and then creating alerts based on them. Okay, so now that we have talked about the drawing alerts, now let's talk about the indicator alerts. So let's take a very simple example to understand the indicator base alerts. So this is the daily chart of Nifty, as you can see. So let's say you're one of those investors who wanted to invest in during the coronavirus crisis, but you missed that opportunity. Now you're basically waiting for the market to give you a dip so that you can enter into the market, maybe in the mutual funds or ETFs or whatever. So you're looking for investing opportunity when the market comes down. So the condition that you want to define here is that when the market, let's say, goes below the 200 day moving average, so I'm going to make it 200. And uh, this is the moving average right here. So you want to start investing in the market when Nifty goes below the 200 day moving average. It's very, very simple criteria. So the way you can build this kind of alert is very simple. So you do right click on this moving average, right? So you see this option of add alert on moving average. So you can click on this and here you can say that, okay, my condition is nifty crossing down the moving average. So what you're telling is that when nifty goes below the 200 day moving average, give me an alert. Idea basically here is that instead of comparing nifty to a hard value of let's say 13,000 or 14,000, you're basically giving a dynamic value of the moving average. So by right clicking on any indicator, we can create alerts based on that indicator. Let's take one more example. So let's say, for example, you want to create an alert on RSI, right? So RSI is a very popular indicator. I'm going to add RSI here. So what we'll do is we'll make it first of all for 14 period. So in this case, what I can do is I can do a right click on RSI and I can create, I will add an alert on RSI. And the way we can do this is that RSI, if let's say is uh, greater than 70. So if RSI is greater than 70, it means that the market is in a potentially overbought condition. And similarly, if I am looking for oversold condition, I can say that RSI is less than, let's say 30. So in this case, I can get alerts both when the market is overbought and when the market is oversold. So guys, in this way, you, you can basically add any indicator on the chart and you can directly do a right click on that indicator and you can create alerts based on that. But now let me tell you a little bit advanced way of looking at these alerts. So we already have a moving average here. How about I add another moving average? So I can say that I will add another moving average, but this time the moving average period for both will be different, right? So I'm looking for, let's say a crossover of uh, let's say 50 period moving average and uh, let's say 200 day moving average, golden cross as it is called. So I'm, I'm going to just make some space on RSI. 
So now I have two moving averages. I'm going to color them a little differently so that uh, we can differentiate them. So we'll make the 200 day moving average red and we will keep the uh, 50 day moving averages uh, blue right now. So in this particular case, a potential investing opportunity or a trading opportunity arri arrives when you see a crossover like this, when the 50 period moving average is crossing over the 200 day moving average. It's a very beautiful setup, a very nice setup. So what you can do is you can create alerts for this. So it's not an alert for one moving average. It is an alert for the combination of moving average, right? So how will you do that? Well, it's very simple. You go to alerts and here you have to define your conditions properly, right? So what you're telling is moving average 50 crosses up the moving average 200 simple, right? So this is a crossover. This is what is happening right here, right? Moving average 50 is crossing up the moving average 200 and then you can define the rest of the parameters here. So this is another elegant way of creating alerts which are not just dependent on one indicator but a combination of indicators. So now it's time for us to discuss the most elegant of all alerts that is the strategy alerts. Now we have seen all these different kind of alerts but the problem with drawing based alerts or indicator based alerts or price based alerts is that they are very simple kind of alerts. Right? But in real life, sometimes we have to define a little complex condition which suits exactly what we want. Right, So it may not just be a moving average crossover. Sometimes you want a moving average crossover and RSI at the same time. Right, So when you have a little combination or probably you have some other criteria, you cannot directly use the built-in indicators. You have to use the strategy alerts. So let me take an example here. So what you are seeing here is what is called as a pine editor. And these lines of codes that you see here, they are written in a language called Pine Script, right? So Pine Script is the language that TradingView understands. So whatever condition that you can think of, whatever condition that comes to your mind, whatever condition that you believe works in this market, you can create that using a very simple language, very intuitive language. So let me explain you here in this particular case what it means. So in this case, what I have taken, by the way, it's a very simple example that I have taken. I don't use this strategy, but just so that I can illustrate how this thing works. So here I have just defined the basic name of the strategy and I'm plotting the exponential moving average of 20 period and 50 period, right? Only the plotting part is happening. Nothing else is going on here. This is what will generate the signal and the alerts. So what I'm telling trading view is that whenever there is a crossover, of the 20 day moving average and 50 day moving average. And at that point of time, if RSI is less than 70, I want to generate a buy signal. And similarly for the sell condition, whenever there is a cross under means the 20 day moving average is going under. So this is 20 day moving average. This is the 50 day moving average. Whenever a condition like this is going on, that will be a sell condition. But at that point of time, RSI should be greater than 30, right? So I'm just taking a very quick example. It may not necessarily be 70 or 30. It can be any other value. But just to illustrate a point that you can have any combination that you can think of, right? It can be RSI. It can be a brick size of Renko. You can decide basically whatever you want. You can create these conditions, right? So what I will do is once I have defined these conditions, all I have to do is I have to save this and I have to add it to the chart. So now that you can see here that the buy and sell signals are already given here. So you have a buy signal here, a sell signal here, a buy signal here. So if you let's say bought here, you would have made money here. If you sold here, you would have made money here. If you bought here, basically you are still making money here. So very powerful strategy. And I don't have to go and check each and every day when this will get triggered. I will basically wait for trading view to tell me that, hey, there is a buy signal. Hey, there is a sell signal, right? So this is how you can automate a lot of alerting process. So, so once the strategy has been created, you can basically create alert here. And what you have to do is you have to pick your strategy, right? So this is a strategy that we are working on EMA crossover strategy. And this is basically telling that, okay, uh, whenever the buy or sell conditions are triggered or generated, let me know through either app or a pop-up or email, or you can do a lot more things here. Right, so this is the basic concept of strategy based alerts. But what we have done is we have only scratched the surface of strategy based alerts. Strategy based alerts can be done in several ways 
in a very very sophisticated manner so we will see uh, what kind of questions that you guys have in this video and based on that probably we will create some more videos on this but i don't want to confuse you guys by telling a lot of information in this one video but at least if you understood that strategy can be defined in the pine editor and based on that strategy i can create an alert here that is what is the essence of strategy based alerts so guys with this particular video we have covered the alerting functionality of trading view next we'll be back testing and strategy so we are putting a lot of effort in these videos as you guys can see so we would like some appreciation we would like some encouragement to keep going because back testing and strategy creation are going to be much more advanced than what we have discussed so far so uh, keep giving us motivation keep giving us feedback and we can all keep learning together <music>